there are no magic words that apply to every teenager in every situation, and none of the communication strategies will work with our kids all the time. However, when we maintain a respectful attitude and use respectful language, our teenagers are more likely to hear us and to cooperate. Modeling respect is necessary for empathy development because it provides the foundation of showing respect for others regardless of differences. When we respond to our teens with blame and accusation, name-calling, sarcasm, comparisons, or threats, their self-esteem suffers. They get overwhelmed with negative feelings. As they get older, they have a harder time managing their emotions and navigating social situations. Responding to our kids with respect in everyday life lays the groundwork for handling complex situations by creating trust and strengthening their connection to us. When they become conflicted or confused, they will be more likely to turn to us for guidance. And when they get tempted by pop culture, peer pressure, or social media, they will have another voice in their heads, ours, with our values, our love, and our faith in them. Respectful communication, perspective taking, and empathy provide a solid foundation for social awareness. Teenagers with these skills are better able to understand social and ethical norms of behaviors and appreciate diversity. This includes figuring out issues of race and class, power relationships, and unfair dynamics of power and disadvantage. Empathy beyond childhood is the capacity to develop empathy and perspective taking does not stop developing in childhood. We can nurture them through our lives and use them to support healthy relationships and to promote social change. However, empathy requires practice. Marshall Rosenberg, psychologist and founder of Nonviolent Communication, explains that our capacity for empathy improves as we get better at the art of radical listening. He describes two traits to be empathetic in conversations. The first refers to deep listening. to be present to the unique feelings and needs of a person at that very moment. It also involves being aware of our own feelings while this is happening. The second trait refers to the willingness to make ourselves vulnerable. Listening is not enough. Revealing our feelings to someone is as important to create a strong, empathetic connection. Empathy is a two-way street that gets built upon the mutual understanding of our experiences and beliefs. Remember that instead of telling our teens how to feel, we need to listen attentively to their stress, pain, or disappointment. Take a break before talking with your teenager during a negative situation. Find your balance to communicate with a respectful attitude and using respectful language. Resist the temptation to fix difficult situations for your teenager. Be there to listen and to provide support as they work through their feelings and the challenges. Show interest in what your son or daughter says about relationships, music, movies, and media. Use these opportunities to connect with your teenager and show him or her your appreciation for different points of view. Remember that the social environment has a significant impact on adolescent development. Helping our teens develop empathy and perspective taking will increase their social adaptation and overall success in the future.